those little pauses to me, man, that shit sounds so incredible to me. I, I want to get back to the song. This shit is nasty. I'm gonna start this back. Nasty. From the beginning. Charismatic front man can do yeah, a lot. Yeah, boy. Can do a lot for a band. <laughs> they can make a band and kill a band. Nasty though. That, I, I, that, that is no nasty. Wrong to me. That is nasty. The riffs and and my man Peter Steele. Yeah. Voice. Really, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me, guys. So, but uh, we're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. And it's an inter. It's uh, never mind. Keep it going, George. <laughs> it's just. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Check us out on Patreon, guys, where we give you our exclusive access to all of our videos, 186 videos and counting. Bangers, too, though. Bangers. <laughs> you know, nothing too shabby. I mean, I don't know, like a Led Zeppelin marathon. We got Metallica mm -hmm. on there, some yep. naked F stuff. You know, I'm just saying. Just throwing that out there, man. What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. Yeah, we're saying, guys, how you living out there? Shout out to the free thinkers, yeah. of course. Shout out to everybody that's been following us on Defter Radio, D-E-A-F, number two radio is our Instagram. And shout out to everybody that's been following us on our Discord as well. Make sure you follow us on both of those mm -hmm. platforms. It's a great way to support the channel. The information for both will be in the description below. And as always, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get all our videos as they drop. Up and coming artists, you know what to do. Click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds or so of your song in front of one of our up and coming videos. Get you some exposure. Or if you got a full song as well, we can get you hooked up on that. Either way, man, information will be down below. All right, man. Peter Gabriel. Peter Gabriel, man. What is this? Uh, Shock the Monkey? Shock the Monkey. <laughs> So, That's a crazy ass title. Okay, real quick, man. Peter Gabriel. We know that Peter Gabriel is, um, he was from Genesis. I think he was the first vocalist from Genesis. But let's read a little bit about him here. Uh, obviously from Genesis, progressive rock. Uh, hails from, what is it saying here? Chop him, Surrey, England. Ain't, let's just say England. So Peter Gabriel, we know that Peter Gabriel is from the band Genesis. We do know that, guys. Yeah, um, yeah. Looks like English singer, songwriter, human rights activist. Okay. okay. He was an original lead singer, obviously, to Genesis, as we mentioned. Looks like he left the band in 1975, and he launched a solo career with uh, what, Soulsbury Hill as his first single. His first studio album, Soul, came out in 1986, and it is his uh, best-selling release, and it is certified triple platinum in the UK, okay. five times platinum in the U.S., the album's most successful single, Sledgehammer. I think I've heard that. Sledgehammer. Yep, yep, yeah. I've heard that. I thought that was Phil Collins this whole time. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, Sorry yeah, about that. That does sound Sorry right. about that, Peter. I thought that was Phil Collins this whole time. Yeah, yeah that's interesting. <laughs> Looks like it won a record nine MTV awards and uh, at the 1987 MTV Video Music Awards. And according to a report in 2011, it was MTV's most played music video of all time at one point. Wow, that's awesome, dude. Yep. He's won three Brit Awards. He's six Grammy Awards. Um, 13 MTV Video Music Awards. I know his videos are mad, fucking weird as hell. I do know that. Like, they're very sort of just huh. eccentric. Made the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Wow. 100 Most Influential People in the World in 2008 from the uh, Time Magazine. Wow, okay. So, he knows. That's dope, man. Yeah, so he's, he's, got, he's decorated, man. That's, that's it, what I love about this channel, man. You start learning more and more and how many great artists there are out there that we still haven't gotten to. That's dope, man. Yeah, man. Progressive rock, art rock, art pop, world beat, post-progressive. So we're, we're expecting kind of like progressive rock. Sledgehammer, I don't think that that, I felt like that was a, a, a 80s kind of pop right? pop record, right? But it did say art pop and whatever the case may be. A lot of you have been telling us for years that you wanted us to get to uh, Peter Gabriel. I think Pam, shout out to Pam. I think Pam specifically has been trying to get us to Peter Gabriel, if I'm not mistaken. So just so y'all know, sign up for Discord because we pay attention to the poll section quite often on our Discord. Yep. Make sure you go to start here, connect your, if you're, if you're a patron, connect your Patreon account to our Discord. You go to our start here channel. It'll show you how to do it. And you'll be able to do things like vote on polls, eventually maybe make polls again. So we um, are looking at our P Peter Gabriel poll on Discord. And it looks like this one, uh, Shock the Monkey, won that poll with 29 votes. Second place was Big Time. So that's what it is. Shout out to Believe Life's Fun on our Discord for making this poll. Yeah. And shout out to everybody that voted on this poll on Discord. Let's get into it. Peter Gabriel, Shock the Monkey. <laughs> far into this man i know i don't know but i would assume that um 
when Peter Gabriel left fucking Genesis and it got Phil Collins. I know Peter Gabriel was like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> because I feel like they sound so They similar. do. They do. They are in the same family. Like, yeah, a I mean, bit, vocally. A little different. It's different. But, it's different. I, mean, but... I, I bet you he was like, these motherfuckers. They, they went and sought out like some the, the same type of sound, you yeah. know, so that it almost is like um, filling that void. Yeah, you know what I mean. That's I, a, I, I think Phil Collins is a really good person to feel this sound. I really do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's nothing to take away from Peter Gabriel. I'm enjoying this song so far, but that's all I was thinking about that and whip it. Sound like that? It gave me whip it good. That that kind of um, that vibe. But I'm enjoying it, man. I just want to make that announcement because I feel like um, <laughs> I feel like they were like you motherfuckers. It is man. interesting. What do y'all think of that though? Yeah, give us some feedback on that. Do you feel like his voice is a huge departure from Phil Collins? Because it doesn't sound like it's that big of a departure yeah. from what we're used to with Phil Collins. It's, he's got a soulfulness to his voice, though, right? There's a certain tone that he has. I really like the way his voice sounds. It's like a soulful yeah. tone to it a little bit, man. But let's let's get back to it. working for me. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why this is kind of working for me. This quirky ass fucking And I love listen, it, it, it sounds like whipping. It sounds like 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 a kind of cheesy 80s type of song. I just love his voice. I love the way he approached this. Yeah. It's just something about his voice, man. But it, it's uh it I don't does know. Work, though. It's quirky as hell. Yeah, it is. It's working. Let's keep it going. <laughs> this though it works and all of the like in in in, in my internal grading scale of and the you shit don't really don't fuck, like. you 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 like some 80s shit but you don't really fuck with the 80s like that like you you have your exceptions but you think the 80s is some bullshit but this yeah. is <laughs> this is probably this is arguably the most cheesy song we've ever done instrumentally it feels like like but but i'm trying to think of what's a fucking weird quirky instrument like can you what's a quirky ass Ooh. instrument uh, um Ukulele or something? A ukulele? Ukulele, yeah. What the fuck I said? Ukulele. 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 <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> Yodelehi who actually. Yeah, Yodelehi. that's what it is. We all fucked up. It's Yodelehi who, and I'm trying to like, anyways. Trying to save the fucker. I can't think of a quirky instrument right now, but whatever. I'm trying to think of one, but I can't. But the bottom line is, I feel like he's playing. 
I'm hearing quirky sounds in this that I feel are being played very well. Yeah. So it's kind of, it's a weird thing that's happening here. Like, this shit is just everything in my being. <laughs> All of my senses are telling me, like, do, 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 yeah. boom, boom, boom. Like, it's a lot of, like, almost like cartoonish. It's very cartoonish, but you can tell that they're being played at a high level, right? It's like yeah. playing a weird, quirky ass instrument on some high level musicians. Right, but you're killing it, though. But you're killing it, right? Yeah. That's how it feels. It's very layered songs. A lot of cool synth work and so we're high level musicianship when it comes to the synth that's happening here. So, yeah, it's just a very interesting, different listen for us. Because like, it shouldn't sound as good. Yeah. To, like, every, like, to, to, to your senses, you're like, yeah, this shouldn't be killing it like yeah, that. Yeah, because it's, it's weird. The sounds yeah. that are coming out of it are weird. But, again, it's, it's just but done well. really doing a good job. So. It's just like, I don't know. Shock. <laughs> right. Yeah, so shout out to Jerry on Murata on the on the drums and the guitars and all mm. that. But it's really the sense that are, I think I'm making it sound right. v very quirky. But anyways, man. But I'm enjoying it. I'm yeah. enjoying it. It's fun. It's a fun listen. Let's keep it going. here man but it sounds a little quirky it's yeah. and it's just that flat like and the snare or whatever that 80 it's just funny but you and then there's but there's an atmosphere being built and then there's this little the with the xylophone in the background right so it's very layered actually but again it just like i don't know how else to articulate it it sounds quirky shout out to them though they're killing it low-key <laughs> The monkey to life. To life. Okay. So I'm gonna go back here, man, to that to that end. There was so much happening in the music that I want y'all to hone in on, man. I know I'm not tripping right now, man. There was drums, there was some synth work, there was some guitar work, right? The shock the monkey. Like there was a lot of layering of instrumentation here. It just sounds so um so 80s. It just yeah. it's just it's just a very sort of like that futuristic 80s sort of uh, template that's that uh, that was just prevalent at this time. So it can distract you from like all of the cool shit, just how cool it is in terms of how they're pulling it off. I want to play the end of that, man. There's a lot going on. It's just a lot of sounds that seem somehow are cohesive. Somehow that was cohesive. There's a lot of cool little interesting sounds that they were that they were doing there at the end, throughout the entire song. But I wanted to point it out at the end because I was like, damn, this shit is layered as hell. So when it said like art pop in um the Wikipedia, 
and uh, progressive and all this other shit. I hear the progressive nature of this song. It feels very sort of inventive, actually. Yeah. But I think it can be confused as being maybe poppy, but I don't know if that's a pop song, if I'm being honest. I feel like that's very progressive. I mean, I think there may be um, elements of it that are pop, but that to me felt very experimental, very um, progressive in that it was just different, you know? So that was, uh, yeah, that was kind of a weird... It was, man. A weird display of different uh, sounds that I think somehow worked, and I really, really like his voice. I just think I love his tone. So I enjoyed it. That was fun listening. Yeah, that was like the quirkiest, coolest thing I've heard in my life, man. That was just very (laughs) quirky, but cool, man. It really just worked, and it was just a fun listen. (laughs) Yeah. I know y'all probably think that I was tripping on it or like clowning it a little bit because or making fun of it, um, in other words, because uh, I was laughing, but I was just enjoying it because I was laughing because I'm like, wow, this is typically something I just would not like at all. I was just like, yeah, this yeah. is just horrible. But it was just such a fun listen, man, because of the quirkiness, but it was cool. And even his charisma and how he sang it was very cool. Love his voice. Very cool, Yes, right? it was. I was like, yeah, this is just smooth. It's just a smooth, quirky, but smooth, you know? Yeah. He pulls it off. <laughs> That's so it. I enjoyed that, man. Please give us some other. Well, I guess we can go back to we can the, go back uh, to the poll to the poll and maybe go to you know what came in second, the third order case may be. But that was in, enjoyable, man. I really liked that a lot. Oh, we could we could do that. I, I, and the funny thing is, I think Sledgehammer. I think I like Sledgehammer too, from what I remember. Yeah, yeah, that's hot. But Sledgehammer, though, I, Sledgehammer, as I remember though. it, Sledgehammer was, was yeah, actually yeah. a pretty good song, <laughs> man. So yeah, yeah. Let's uh, give us yeah. Let, let us know. Go to the poll and vote. Or you could just give us other suggestions yeah. on songs in the comments when we do put this out on other songs that we could do from Peter Gabriel. But thoroughly enjoyed that one. That's the W. Shout out to Believe Life's Fun. Yeah, man. And everyone else that voted on that poll. It's been a success, to, in my opinion. I've enjoyed the poll winners. Yeah, for the man. Most part, so we rocking. That's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Make sure you guys follow us on our, our Def to Radio, our Instagram, DEAF number two radio, and our Patreon and Discord. All the information for all that will be in the description below. I'm George. That's Ryan. Las Vegas. We out.